Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. Last bout, we had a bout with the spine crushing Mrs. Thwomp, who didn't crush our spines so much as she crushed our expectations because she was the one to jump to her husband's rescue. Because that's all Thwomps are capable of doing is just moving up and down, though. But she tried to let us have a piece of her, her mind for stopping the eruption that her husband wanted to see, but we made good with her husband even if we didn't make good with her, and he lowered us into the crater where Bowser and Peach now are. Oh, and uh, Baby Bowser. Can't forget that he's involved in the plot yet again. This time, we are going to be going deeper into the crater and seeing if we can find what they're all up to. Starting off, over to the left here. You can look at the map and see that there are three green pipes. Or, Three bloop? Why can I not speak lately? Jeez, like, I'll be like, hey, there's six of this thing when there's like two on the screen. I don't know, whatever. Um, at least I didn't get the counting wrong. And you know what that means, because we can't get across these bars. Um, Luigi, you are hereby decreed to learn a move where you lay down and you roll along those pipes while Mario rolls around on top of you. Because um, you're Luigi. Of course, you got to be the one that Mario's walking on and ro using to roll across that thing like a log. Well, regardless, we don't have said move right now. We don't have any way of getting across there. We're just gonna wanna remember it for later as opposed to just thinking that it's a useless dead end like my child self may or may not have done. Has the spark gone out of your baby spinning? Use this twister to put some extra oomph in your jump. Press left and right on the D-pad to get lots of coins. Well, if you're gonna pay me for throwing babies into a volcano, well, I gladly accept that because I was gonna do that for free anyway. Here we go. I don't need to know how to press the D-pad to spin my babies around. I already know how. So we finally have another mini game here. How long has it been since we saw one of these? I think the start of Gritzy Desert roughly though, but just, yeah, I, I can see the lack of mini games not being a complaint for everyone. Maybe you just really like RPG gameplay and you don't like side things just kind of taking up a lot of your time though, but I like side games in my RPGs. It adds a lot of variety to stuff. It kind of breaks up the action and I think it's very welcome in RPGs where, um, you know, you're not just like fighting enemies all the time and you know, not everything that's action packed is a cutscene. You actually get to do a lot of them. Uh, really quick though, I'm gonna walk out of this room. I'm gonna use this block. I'm gonna spin again, go into the tornado, get the tutorial yet again, and it's gonna treat it as though it's the first time that we've gone through here. You can do this to get all of the coins in the area. I personally don't see the need to really stay here and abuse this though, so let's just be on our way. Know that you can do that. Those walls kind of look like anchors. Uh, oh, uh, I'm not gonna challenge you. Better watch out. I'm gonna call for my big brothers. Uh, you there. I see that you are the designated 100 coin dispenser of this area, so let's get to it. Give me my... I could not have been more wrong about this guy. Um, yeah. And oh, uh, yeah, we have a new enemy. Perhaps if you had a bit of a rusty memory, you were wondering why I wasn't going over this in the outside areas. Only the Thwax in Thwomp Volcano, inside of it, can make the Thwack Totem. These guys are interesting. Basically, they're very tall, so you have very long jumps going up to them, though, but that's not why I say they're interesting. It's that they have completely separate how Wow, they are slower than babies by a lot. I got two turns before I didn't got to move. Basically, they have separate health bars from the regular Thwax, so as a result of that, they, um, jeez. There we go. Oh. Wow, um, ouch. I was trying to say they have, when the Thwax load in, they have their own health bars and it gets a new health bar when they form the Thwack Totem. As a result of that, they are immune to being first striked even if you jump on them in the field because the Thwack Totem will always have full health when it spawns in. It's unique in that way in that it is immune to any kind of first strike whatsoever. Well, I, I guess maybe you could do the hammer first strike on it, which I should do because we've had the um, the pummel badge for a long time and I haven't gotten to use it. Well, let's uh, heal up right away. They do have some other attacks that we'll hopefully be seeing a little bit later. So we'll heal you up. And it's okay, buddy, if you're not a good at being a 100 coin dispenser. For I see good potential in this guy right here. And you know what? I... Uh, uh, wow, what a ripoff. You didn't even meet half of my expectations. I'm so sorry I believed in you. Oof. Guess they have to make it more challenging somehow by only giving you 50 coins. <laughs> you there! You are an enemy of the new variety that I've been wanting to talk about. And uh, you don't really seem to want me to talk about you much, do you? These are, as you would expect, gold cupelians. They have 999 defense, but only uh, 10 HP, and they run away from battle at almost every opportunity. 
If you can beat them, however, as you would expect, they give you a pretty good amount of experience and a pretty good amount of money. If I could beat all three of those guys, I'd be rolling in resources. They also drop some fairly good items. They're pretty much the same as the Koopelians that we saw before. I think they got like one new trick up their sleeve though, but they're pretty easy enemies, pretty easy to first strike, jump on them for an easy two damage. Hope that they don't all run away from you before you actually get a chance to attack them. They are very fast, so they often go first. It's kind of this game's rare enemy that gives you lots of experience, but runs away from battle quickly with out actually having the rare part of it. It's really weird and wow, um, I'd like to actually kill more than one of these, please. Uh, let me, uh, let me get this right there. Oh, seven copy flowers, yeah. Um, you know, it works out nicely. Right as soon as I use my last copy flowers, when we enter the area where we can get them from item blocks normally and have lots of them to use. Almost like I plan things out very cleanly like that because I know this pretty well. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm bragging about something that's not really all that special. Hi, buddy. Uh, those are their attacks. Yeah, they can stick out their tongue at you. Um, Contrary to how much more painful it would be in real life to have your tongue jumped on as opposed to having your body jumped on, somehow I don't think they take counterattack damage from that. Instead, let's just hit you around with that. Uh, ooh, that's that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Okay, okay. Uh, good opportunity to show this. They actually have an elemental weakness to ice. Even though they have 9 and 9 defense, it won't protect them against elemental damage, though. So if you want to knock out a group of them very easily, just use your ice flowers, very simple. You should have lots of them by this point. And it's endlessly worth it for the amount of coins experience and sometimes even items that you'll get for your troubles for doing it. Now, I'm gonna toss the babies in this little cubby hole. And uh, you're not gonna let me use my pummel badge, are you? Because you're a game show host. Why would I ever think you're an enemy? Thw oh, th welcome. This Thwomp Bros mini game arcade. I like mini games. Thwa? What do you mean? You think I alone? Thwarng, throng, <laughs> little brother just up ahead. Thum? You keep going. You a drip. You play one game, then you move on. So this your first time. So you play for free. Three. Okay. These rules. You see cannon? Put ball in there. Any ball, okay. When ball is inside, hit switch on right. Move ball into cannon, we shall. Hit switch on right, we do. Ball fly way up, you roll it around at the speed of sound. Gems everywhere, oh? Huh? Collect all you can. More gems means more better for you. After you get gems, steer into hole. I tell you more once you in hole. Those are the words you don't want to hear on a first date. <laughs> so let us go around, collect all the gems that we can. This is just awesome getting too many games one after another. Contrary to how good or bad I might be, you cannot cancel out of your bros ball in this area. You just gotta go in one go and just go for it. Wheel go spin now. You hit switch in middle to stop wheel. All three pictures match, you win big prize. It real good. You got five gems, so you get five spins. Just when you were wondering what the heck these two things had anything to do with each other, here you go. There's that. Thwackpot! Three mushrooms make 20 coins. <laughs> that looked painful, the way that the bros were like that. And they collect that. Spin four more times, let's spin. Gonna go for, I'll go for the flower next. There it is. We're getting three flowers, 50 coins. And let us be rather stylish in getting the star this time so that I'm able to show all of the rewards in one fell swoop. Or I can miss. I'll take 50 more coins if I really have to. It's okay, I got two more tries. There it is, triple stars. You want to get this. As typical Mario logic dictates, it is the best. You get one bean for this. This is the first, that bean valuable. Don't know why, but it valuable. <laughs> so you can get as many beans as you would like now that we have access to this game. And it's not hard at all to win at these slots. It's very easy timing. Whatever is next on the reel, it will automatically stop on when you hit it with your hammer. It could not be an easier slot minigame. You should always get at least five plays on it if you know that. 
Uh, you can play 100 coins per game though, but it's not hard to make back your investment as long as you get the flower twice out of all of your attempts. It's really good. Wait, help and play. <laughs> help and play. Oh, he's just explaining the rules to us again. I figured it was going to be that though, but just when he's asking like, what do you want to do? He's like, help and play. Just, it sounds funny. I'm sorry. Um, am I? Oh, I have to actually put this in there. Did, wait a minute. Did he? Hold on a minute, I gotta test this. <laughs> you bad, one coin. <laughs> okay, now, for a second there, I thought that if he selected the tutorial, he wasn't charging me to play, but that's not the case, never mind. Good playing, see you again. I dang well agree that it was good playing. The fact that that was required for you to learn about, I am very happy because it gave me no excuse for missing this as a child. However, uh, I wasn't so lucky on the way of actually being able to buy anything with my beans, unfortunately. After doing that, I decided to call it quits at 92 beans. Not bad at all. I could buy any badge from Fobble's Bean and Badge that I oh so wish with that amount of money. And now that we're just like getting deeper into the pit, oh my gosh, I love this area. It's really weird. I remember that, um, Back when I first decided that I wanted to play Partners in Time um, for like a series, uh, it was actually back when I was playing Superstar Saga. It was that I got sick and I didn't know what I was going to do while I was sick and I decided, you know what? I've heard a lot of negativity about Partners in Time. Maybe I should play it and see if it's as good as I remember it. And um, just in playing through it again and you know liking it as much as I remembered it and still legitimately thinking there was some positive in it, that was what made me decide to do this. I remember that back when I did that, there were some people saying like, oh God, if you think it's good, wait till you get to Thwomp Volcano, that'll change your mind. And it's like, I don't know why people said that. I don't know if that's a popular opinion. I would assume not, but yeah, I had people saying that no less. Uh, also, I don't want to jump on your head. So you know what? Uh, you're gonna, what? Okay, I guess we're fighting you with this. We have a new enemy. We have the Blazing Shroob. As you'd expect, very weak to ice flowers like any shrewboid would typically be. Critical damage and all. I, yeah, let's uh, let's hit you with the defense down, put you out of your misery, and let your brother be the one to do the attacking. There we go, Firecracker, he's going for Luigi. Luigi again, Luigi, whoa, combo. Uh, oh, dude, oh God, oh good, oh good, oh, dude, dude, dude. Uh, dude, 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 dude. whoa. Uh, what just happened? <laughs> like, seriously, uh, ouch. Uh, well, to anybody who thought that I was overleveled or overpowered, to that I say, um, no. <laughs> okay, uh, there's only one of you. We can, we can do this. Uh, or no, we can't. Uh, we gotta survive another attack. You're go probably going for Luigi. Yep, you are. Oh, God. Such a small window between those jumps. Jeez. As hand shows, he's gonna throw the fireball. At oh my gosh. 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 Um. Crap, do I run from this or don't I? <laughs> um, you know what? No, let's overcome the challenges before us. We get to see your attacks. I do not want to run from this battle. I thought it would be smart to use the pummel badge on you. I was not smart indeed to be thinking that. Let's use the ice flower, not take any chances. Come on, go, 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 go. And he only had 24 health left. I probably wouldn't have beaten him if I used the hammer that turn, but okay, fine. <laughs> Lesson learned, don't attack using the babies just for the sake of showing off if you can avoid it. Because, wow, uh, I guess you could say that really backfired. <laughs> you there! I'm going to take out my hostilities on you. Actually, you guys would probably be good for using the pummel badge on now that I think about it. Because they only got 10 health. I could probably deal with them with the babies. The babies are actually pretty fast, as we saw um, when we were leveling up last. I mentioned it before that um, babies are pretty quick. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's let's put that theory to the test. Uh, let's heal baby Luigi first, actually. Thank goodness for the flashing HUD letting me know that I'm low on health. Let's do that. Get all the way up to full health, because you can never be too careful when it comes to kids. Let's do this. Unsuspecting. Hi! Hi! Uh, no. Uh so touchy, even when you do have that going for you. Okay, go. Uh, nope. Attempt. <laughs> Wouldn't be doing this if I could hammer first strike using the bros, but unfortunately you can't. Got to be the babies. Zoot! There it is. Now come on. 
Yes! Insta killed two of them, only gotta deal with one. I like this turn of events a lot. This is a great way to clear out Kabelians. That is if you're actually good at first striking them, where which I'm kinda not, but um, who's counting? There we go, good. Good again, good again, good again. Uh, not quite. Did he only have, oh gosh, I think he only had like, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna chance it. I got 50 of these things. I can do this to get an easy second hit. I don't think my jump would have done more than one damage to him if I was attacking as a baby, and I'd rather use a green shell than an ice flower just to make sure that I get the experience and money, so we'll do that. Kinda sucks the bros miss out on it this way, though, so I guess it does kinda have that drawback, but I guess, uh, make your choice, and there you are. You can do it either way. Each way has its consequences. They also hurt the babies quite a bit. Max Mushroom! Not like I'm ever gonna use it, but I'll still get excited about it no less because it's a rare item and it's shiny. This symbol, it seems very, very familiar. I would advise you all stand over the over here. Thanks, buddy. It's not like I caught on to that design choice after 20 hours of gameplay. It's, I definitely needed to know that. Uh, when you go down a le level, I want to warn you right now that you're not able to immediately come back up. So go over this way, hit this block before you go down one more layer. This will give you a shortcut back to the starting area, looping us all the way back to where we were. And if you need to take time to go and take a full heal, remember that you have that uh, shortcut back to the time hall, allowing you to go back to Princess Peach's castle and heal, should you ever need to. Thwomp, for a board, we go down. It's actually kind of creepy. Um, I hope you're not also Mrs. Thwomp's husband. I mean, then again, she's the only explicitly stated female Thwomp in the entire canon, though, so um, uh, maybe they can't reproduce otherwise, and thus it's necessary polygamy? I don't know. Uh, I wonder, uh, do you think this is as far down as it goes? Also, necessary polygamy. That's going to be a coin term, I'm pretty sure, in the future that I'm going to have to avoid. Thwomp, blocking, block, block, path. We go nowhere. We may have to remove the blocks in order to de-elevate. Yes. Well, um, yeah. We got a bit of a dead end over this way. I guess I can head over that, uh, that way. <laughs> kind of redundant, though. But I was saying that, um, I love the atmosphere of Thwomp Volcano. Just, I've already... Of course I'm gonna praise the background art. I've been doing that, and I will continue to do so because it deserves it just that much. Because... The background's here with the glowing magma and how it's going through those thin tubes through those interconnected blocks. Now this area is just made up of a ton of blocks. It's certainly a unique volcanic area. Um, I guess Minecraft didn't exist for like 10 more years after this. But this song, oh my gosh, that we're not going to hear because I just got into a battle, but oh well, that's fine. Also, I guess I stomped out the flames on your head like you're supposed to whenever there's a fire. And that is that. Got a copy flyer from that battle and a level up for Baby Mario. I am never gonna actually get to talk about the song though, but that's okay, because I was just gonna be quiet and let you listen to it though, so it all works out. There's my plus two. Did that only give me one? I thought I had 60 before, but maybe I uh, just wasn't looking hard enough like I was when I said that those pipes were green. <laughs> uh, go on, Baby Luigi, grow us some more of that five o'clock shadow. This song is all I will say.
already spoke high praise of the song that you hear outside, but this one, it's a similar song. It shares some notes with it though, but it slows it down. It just feels a lot more dire. And even though it is a bit slow starting, I like the buildup to it when you know the whole song. It's also very addictive in its own right. And just Thwomp Volcano having great music continues its trend. But anyway, we have made it down to a lower level. We've gotten to play lots and lots of mini games. Not exactly the casino type area that you would expect at first glance, but um, yeah, it is. We're gonna end things off here. Next time on Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, we are going deeper into the volcano crater and seeing just what we can do about the little green block that is blocking our pathway forward. And also, yeah, if you're curious, just simply standing on this guy's head will not let you go back. That is why I was advising that you take the time to go back and heal, should you need to. And if you're wondering about the lucky badge, then we've already gotten one. Baby Luigi's even wearing one right now, so it's not really any big deal. It's just a freebie. Anyway, see you guys then.